guys while my kids are being quiet for a minute I'm gonna film another video real quick um, it's an autism update so this is gonna be just an update on Ty he just turned eight years old this last weekend and I haven't really done an autism update in a while so um, I just want to kind of like you know update where he's at and talk to you guys all about Ty so um, Ty Rez is like I said he just turned eight he is a busy child, um, but it's gotten better, actually. So most of you guys know, about 10 weeks ago, Ty got a service dog. He's got Max now, and Miss Avia is helping me very much. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, my daughter's helping me. Um, so Max is Ty's service dog. Um, he loves him two pieces he's always max 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 and he named him and max is just his his puppy and he loves him so much so um sorry about the rooster our neighbors have a rooster that cockadoodle doos all day long and all night anyway so ty is doing really really great um he is listening really good he cleans up after himself really well partly because i don't let him not clean up after himself that's a whole nother video though. I know that's like a hot topic with a lot of autism moms, but um, yes, I make my son clean, clean up after himself and I don't feel bad about it either because he needs to learn real life skills. And that's how I look at autism. Like he needs to know real life skills. He needs to know things that can help him after me and Tim are no longer around. He needs to know how to make food and, you know, clean up after himself and clean things and do things and get himself dressed. And so we teach him those things. And he has been cleaning up after himself for years now. He doesn't like it sometimes, but he still does it because we make him. So, um, he, like tonight, had to clean up his cars or he couldn't watch a show with his brothers. I don't feel bad making him clean up after himself. I, I don't feel like it's a bad thing for him to know. And same thing with getting dressed and putting his clothes in the hamper and brushing his teeth. Like, we supervise him doing those things, but he does do those things on his own now. And he's doing great with it. He can make his own toast now. He loves toast all of the time. He can make it by himself now. He can even butter it. He does super good. And I think a lot of it's just because we teach him to do those things on his own independently so that he can do those things. Using autism as a crutch is not going to help you or your child at all. Um, using it saying, oh, well, he has autism, he can't get dressed. He's never going to get dressed if you don't teach him how to get dressed on his own. He never will. He'll always need help. So with Ty, he can. He can get dressed by himself. He can put his shoes on if they're on the wrong feet. I'll say, hey, Ty, your shoes are on the wrong feet. Fix it, please. He'll take them off, swap them, put them on the right feet. It's so, 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 so important to teach life skills like that to kids with autism. And the same thing with going places. Ty goes everywhere we go. I do not care if it is a loud place. I don't care if it's a theme park and it's a roller coaster. I don't care if it's a movie. He's going to go because he needs to be able to function in real life, not in a little tiny bubble in our house, in real life like situations. He needs to be able to do those things. And so we teach him to do those things. If he has a hard time or he has a meltdown, yep, it sucks, but we deal with it. Putting a crutch on him saying he can't go do this and everyone else can do it is not going to help him at all. And, you know, we do have meltdowns. We do have problems. We do have days where he just isn't going to eat what we're eating, things like that. But unless, you know, you at least expose them to those things, they're never going to learn. So we do, we expose Ty to a lot of things that most people probably think we're crazy for. But look at how far he's come though. He's doing so good. Like he has come so far. He gets to go to a regular classroom this year and he gets to do regular kid things because we have taught him to do regular kid things. You know, there's things he needs supervision with like scissors or on the playground or, you know, crossing the street, things like that. But I don't, 
I don't know, I'm even teaching him to bathe himself. He rubs the soap all over himself and I still help him wash his hair and because he hates washing his hair but he is going to wash his hair whether he likes it or not. And I still help him, you know, dry off and make sure everything gets clean and everything's done properly but he is never going to know how to do those things unless I teach him. And I, I guess I just hate so bad when people are like, oh, well, he has autism. He can't go to this store. Or he has autism. He can't go somewhere loud. Nope. My kid's going to go anywhere I go because it's good for him. <laughs> I, I think it's good for him. He is a good kid and he likes to go places and he likes adventure. He likes to go do fun things and holding him back from that is not helping me, him, his dad, anyone around him. It's not helping them. It's so important that he gets to do and experience things too. So that's my little autism tidbit. We just, he's doing so good and I, I know it's because of the way we take him places and the way we do things and and show him how to behave. If no one's ever gonna show a kid how to behave, whether they have autism or not, they're never gonna know. And I think he's doing fabulous. And I am so proud of him. He's come so far in this last year. I can't even tell you how proud I am and how I just, I am so proud. It's amazing. So anyway, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe if you're new and we'll see you all in our next video. Bye, guys.